Today we're going to be looking at the Louis Vuitton Air Force One designed by Virgil Abloh, RIP a legend. I'm excited to get into this shoe and you guys already know just based off of the background where we're at. We're at Untied LA and you know they always got some bangers for us and I had to come out and see this shoe in person. So let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what's inside. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Before we crack this box open, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. On this channel, I love breaking down sneakers, giving you guys in-depth reviews, especially on rare stuff like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing, joining the fam, and we're on our road to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. Now let's crack open the box. All right, so this is gonna be similar to the other ones that we have shown on the channel before, and all over throughout the box, we're gonna have that monogram Louis Vuitton print, and then you're gonna have the lid that lifts up right here on the front end, and on the center of the lid right here, you have a big white Nike swoosh. Now when it comes to the accessories and add-ons, you have a pair of black laces that say Laysette right here with the white text and then you have a pair of white laces with the black text as well and I'm pretty sure these come equipped with a pair of white laces and I've always been confused why do they always do two pairs of white laces never really sure I thought maybe it would be an alternate color that maybe matches with the sneaker but hey I don't know they got their own design process next up right here you have a leather strip that looks like a Nike swoosh that loops around this little tab right here and it has the same monogram print on that with the brown leather and you have Louis Vuitton air with the Nike swoosh here printed on there. Now, additional, you have two sets of dust bags right here, one for each shoe. And on the bottom end of it, it says Louis Vuitton Air, and it has that little leather patch right there, something that you might see on the tongue of the sneaker as well. Now for the part that everybody has been waiting for. Oh, we got the shoe. So before we start breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials of the sneaker, you know what we gotta do first. We gotta talk about the history. So the Nike Air Force One has been around for 40 years, and with this being the 40 year anniversary, it only made sense for them to do a collaboration with a special brand like Louis Vuitton and Virgil Abloh to create this Air Force One pack. Now, because of the value of this sneaker, I'm sure not everybody's gonna actually be able to complete the entire set. We will see some people do it online eventually, but I know as of right now, this is gonna be a sneaker that a lot of people are just hoping to at least get their hands on one pair of. There are nine different colorways that were available to the VICs, and this is the current time right now where we're seeing a lot of the different clients that purchase things from Louis Vuitton getting their shoes in the mail, and now everybody's kind of flexing them on the internet. So now that you guys know a little bit about the sneaker, let's go ahead and start from the bottom and work our way up. Starting with the outsole, as you can see right here, you have your classic all black Air Force One outsole. Now, you know what I'm saying? It's not all black on the upper, so I think that's okay to the public. You know what I'm saying? If they did an all black version, we might have to watch out. I know they did a suede version. I don't know. Maybe that's the one that everybody doesn't want. We shall see what everybody thinks in the comment section. And then your signature Virgil Air branding just above that with the white text right here. Now going to the upper, oh the upper. There is definitely a lot of mixtures of materials, colors, and dope design aspects to this sneaker. So we definitely need to take our time breaking this shoe down part by part. And hopefully I can give you guys some good detail shots along the way. So starting around the mud guard and vamp area of the sneaker on the toe cap right here, you have that chrome vibe with the Louis Vuitton monogram print all throughout. And this thing is shining like crazy. Uh, hopefully the light can show you guys some differences and I'll show you a different look with these outside as well, just how they shine in the different lighting. Now when it comes to the swoosh, the mid panel and the eye stays around the top of the foot. Those are gonna be a black suede Louis Vuitton monogram embossed print right here. And then you have a white zigzag stitch just around the swoosh right there and a black leather tab behind that. Now here comes some of the fun parts and the mix ups on these two shoes. They are similar but different at the same time. The sock liner is purple on both of these. The tongue is actually purple on the left foot and it's green on the right foot. Now going behind the tongues on these two shoes, you are gonna have a yellow mesh behind there. But now when it comes to the uppers, this is where the mix up kind of switches around as well. Now you have a purple suede on the right foot all the way around on the back end and I am loving this look. And then the chrome LV right there. Whew, these things look crazy. Now when it comes to the other side, it's almost giving me that Go Ducks vibe. You got the yellow suede with the green leather tab on the back end with the Louis Vuitton Paris, and it's a whole different switch up. So it's interesting to see how they mixed up the two colors between the two shoes, and they didn't go exactly identical with the matching, yet they are very similar at the same time. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I'll put them side by side as well. Do you guys like the purple back more, or do you like the yellow back more? I like the purple, that's just me, but the yellow ain't that bad either. If they did both shoes with the purple and the yellow tab on the back, oh, 
That would be crazy. Now going to the insoles of these sneakers, they definitely gonna have some cool details as well. And I gotta pull these out so you guys can see because this is, like I said, when it comes to high quality materials, details, attention to details with all the different add-ons to the sneakers and stuff, these are the little things that sneaker heads particularly really love. So looking at the top of it, you got a purple insole with the Nike swoosh right here. And then on the back end, you've got this ingrained kind of embossed Louis Vuitton Paris just behind that. And I think that's a cool detail, but one thing that's even better than that is the all over monogram print right here on the bottom of the foot right here. This is just crazy. When we talk about details on every single aspect of the sneaker, from the tip of the laces to the all the way at the bottom of the shoe, inside of an area that you don't even see because you never take the insole out, all those little details make this shoe even better just because of it. Now, is this the best Air Force One ever? And can I name a lot of GRs that could potentially be better than these simply because of color blocking and all that stuff? Yes. But at the same time, when it comes to quality, attention to details, and all those other factors, they definitely did a really good job. And on that topic, I personally like this red colorway the most. I think it's, I know, very simple and all those other things, but I think they did a really good job with this, and I do like the materials. But they did, like, I don't know, the suede and everything is really nice. I just, I like this pair a little bit more. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And speaking of that topic, I'm also interested to see if you guys think this shoe is fire or trash. So I always post a poll on my Instagram story to see what everybody else thinks. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. So basically, I asked the people a simple question. Is the shoe fire or is the shoe trash? Now, if I had to pick, I probably would say fire, but I wouldn't be all gung-ho for the talent show. I would still be in it, but I just wouldn't be going crazy about them. I think they're pretty dope. You know, I like the whole aspect of the shoe, but I would be able to, if I could, I would choose other colorways from the nine colorways compared to these. Either way, this is what the people said. 66% of the people said fire and 34% of the people said trash. So right there, that's telling me enough. A lot of people still like the sneaker. I know some of the results are a little bit higher on the other colorways, just based off of the previous reviews. And again, if you wanna see more in-depth looks at the other colorways on the channel, I have them here. I'll try to link them down below or at the end of this video so you guys can check them out as well. So you kinda of got my opinions of it. We've seen the results of everybody else. Now it's time for you to shine down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this shoe. Are you guys ever interested in trying to add something like this to your collection? Do you think the price point is too high when it comes to the retail value, especially when it comes to the resale we're seeing prices vary i think they're all over the place right now but we're seeing prices vary from anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, who depends on the size, the color, who you're asking, all these different things. At the end of the day, the shoes are very expensive and I know this is something that may not be everybody's cup of tea. So I'm just interested to hear you guys' perspectives. Me personally, I wanna make sure that I add at least one of these into my collection. I feel like it only makes sense with me being a sneakerhead and loving all these things and having one of the dopest Air Force Ones drop in a long time. I think it only makes sense. I gotta find a pair, it's gonna be really hard to get a size 13, especially because you know how it goes they just barely be making my size so especially when it comes to a drop like this the chances are gonna be very slim I might have to just get something for a display I don't know we'll see how it goes so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys want to see anything else make sure you guys check out all the links down below for the other reviews and uh, if you haven't already make sure you check out untied LA the link is down below for their website and use the discount code DNA show that'll get you free shipping on any of your orders I'll see you guys in another one and uh yeah I gotta go Peace. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.